We have here a 97 Volkswagen Eurovan. It has a 2.6 liter BR6 AES letter code engine. And the customer's concern is they have a whole bunch of trouble codes and it's running poorly with a misfire. Come over here, we'll do it, I'll show you the auto scan that we've done. Okay, so there's eight fault codes in the engine computer. Uh, secondary error, random misfire, cylinder one misfire, cylinder six misfire, catalyst con uh, efficiency, and another random misfire, and two more cylinder one and cylinder six. With a little bit of experience, you know that the secondary error trouble code doesn't cause a misfire. And you also know that the catalytic converter code can be caused by the misfire. So with that little bit of knowledge, we know to look for a misfire on cylinder one and cylinder six. Now, <clears throat> I've already diagnosed this car, by the way. I'm videoing after the fact and showing you the steps that we're making. So there's our AES letter code. And when you understand the way these work, this is a waste spark system, and the number one and the number six are provided spark by the same coil. Now, when I say the same coil, there's just one coil assembly, but there are literally three coils inside there, and the number one and the number six fire at the same time. Um, and the same spark goes through the number one and the number six, Obviously, if the number one's on compression stroke, the number six is wasted. And uh, same thing with the, the, other, two, the other four cylinders. Um, they, are, they have a waste spark system there also. So um, real quick diagnosis on this. Uh, I'm going to have Bob start the car, and then we will uh, pull some wires off to see whether the coil is sparking on that number one and number two. Okay, start it. Okay, we're going to pull off, I don't know which one it is, but we're going to pull off one that we know works in order to demonstrate. And I've already loosened these on the power so that I don't get shocked. Turn the air off so the fan can shut off hopefully. You might be able to see the shakiness in the engine based on my, my camera hand shaking, but I'm going to pull this off nice and gentle. You'll probably be able to hear it. You can hear it and see it. Go ahead and turn that light off. I'm sure you can see that spark. I'm sure you can see that spark and hear it too. And you can also see the engine runs a little bit worse when I pull that off. Okay, now I'm going to pull off the number one. No, I'm sorry, this is the number six. Well, I'm going to pull off the number one then, because that one's on there too pretty tight. Okay, I'm now I'm trying to pull off the number six, and uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but no change in the engine, and no, absolutely no tapping noise where the spark's jumping, and no visual sign of the spark jumping either. Okay, so now we're going after the number six. Okay, so now we're going after the number six. Once again, I have it out. No change in the effect of the engine running, and no 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 tapping noise where the spark's jumping, and no visual sign of spark jumping. So, since that's a paired circuit, since in the waste spark system that's a paired circuit, we can be pretty confident that the coil has failed on for those two cylinders. The only problem with this is we could have a control wire broken. To the computer. You know, these are the wires that control the coil, and there'll be, uh, I assume, three control wires for the paired cylinders, and then a power and a ground. And so, but we can check that real quick. I've already got the scope out. Okay, I got the scope up and working, and it's on auto ranging, which should be fine for what we're doing here. Now, I don't know what these wires are. I'm just going to back probe them and see if I can figure it out. 
Obviously I know there's five wires here and three of them are signal wires from the computer. Uh, so that means two of them would be a power and a ground. And since that basically shows a ground, yes it's noisy, but that's a ground. And so we're going to assume this wire is the ground. So I'm going to pull out here and go into the next one. So that gives us a very nice square wave, 0 to 5 volts. So that is the computer commanding that specific coil for that pair of cylinders to fire. So we know that one's good. And I'm going to move down to the next one. And another good 5 volt square wave. So we know the computer's firing that pair of cylinders also. Now I don't know which cylinder it is. But it doesn't matter, because if we have three wires here with a good square wave on them, then we know that our one and six pair is being fired. So there's our third good set of square waves, so I'll move to the last wire. What do you think that one's going to be, Bob? Power. 12 volts. Go ahead and move over here. Okay. And that should be our power, right, sir? Now, this one's hard to interpret because it's down low, but it is at 12 volts right there. So we can conclusively say there that our number one and our number six are not sparking, yet the coil has power and ground, and that the computer is providing the signal that should be commanded at the fire. Uh, get a recommendation to this customer to replace the coil. Obviously, this may not fix the other codes also, but uh, it still could have a bad cat but maybe the misfire is just overwhelming the cat where the can't, can't to where the cat can't work and maybe the, the catalytic converter code will go away also. Uh, I doubt very much the secondary air trouble code will go away, but we'll just have to talk to the customer about fixing the misfire first and going from there. Well, our new coil has arrived and this is uh, the brand that we ended up with. I offered the customer a nice Bosch one but they thought that was too expensive, and honestly, it is expensive. Uh, this one comes from our local auto parts store, not a sponsor, and you can see there it's Hecho in El China. You can see there it's made in China. Um, I have not had good luck with made in China coils on Volkswagens, and I don't warranty these. The supplier of this will warranty the part, but I'm not warranting the labor or the diagnosis based on. Uh, a Chinese part but uh, you can see based on the design here that these two are built into the same uh, area here and that is a coil or a winding and you can see that they are paired like that and uh, that's because this is a waste spark coil Bob's going to get this installed and we will uh, update you on how it runs after that Okay, Bob has got the coil installed, and I'm getting ready to start it. I sent him over to the other side in order to get the VAGCOM to clear code. Seems to be running good. Oh, thank you. Now, I know that VAGCOM is not called VAGCOM anymore. It is VCDS. And I am utterly amazed that VAGCOM hasn't contacted me in order to sponsor this channel and I know it's got to be because I keep saying VAGCOM rather than VCDS so obviously they are vindictive and they hold a grudge because I can't seem to remember to say VCDS but we're gonna get the codes cleared okay here is our old coil the van is running great with no misfires the secondary air trouble code did come back almost right away the catalytic converter code did not come back although it might come back in the near future I just want to point out that if you have misfires on two cylinders and it's a waste spark type system and they're on a paired uh, coil like this, then, then you most likely you need a coil. You do basically have to eliminate that the computer is commanding it for that coil system though. But uh, 
this was a good fix for the customer. Uh, the coil, even though it was Chinese, it did work. Hopefully it'll last for and it can be an economical repair. If you uh, learned anything from this video or want to donate to the continued production of these videos, find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com. And if um, you want to watch some more of my videos, there'll be one right there and one right there. And don't forget to subscribe right there. Thanks for watching.